In this guide I'll show you everything there is to know about ecumenical keys. Ecumenical keys are keys used to open the doors to the Godwar's dungeon bosses. While normally you would need to get 40 kill count to enter the room, this can be circumvented by using an ecumenical key to open the door. They are especially useful when you want to kill Kriara, Armadil's general, and Commander Zlyana, because their followers that you need to kill are of very high levels and it would be a waste of time and supplies to get the 40kc. The keys can be obtained from killing monsters in the Wilderness Godwar's dungeon. This place resembles the regular Godwar's dungeon, but you won't find any bosses here. The dungeon is located in level 28 Wilderness, the fastest ways to get there are with the obelisk teleportation system, the cemetery teleport from the Archaea spellbook, or the Dariac teleport from the ancient spellbook. To make all the monsters in the dungeon unaggressive, you'll need to bring some god items, but since we are in the wilderness, you want to bring the cheapest stuff you can. Here are some cheap options for each god. For Seradamin, you can use the god koi for bracers, monk's robes, holy blessing, holy symbol or a sarastol. For Zamorak, you can use the god koi for bracers, Zamorak's monk's robes, unholy symbol or the zami stole. And for bandos, you can use the god koi or bracers, the war blessing or a bando stole. You won't really need to bring an armadil item because we'll be killing monsters in the southeast of the dungeon and armadil's followers are in the northwest. But if you want some extra protection, you can bring an armadil koi or bracers, an honorable blessing or an armadil stole. Basically bring whatever 3 or 4 god items you have lying around and bring the fast hitting blowpipe and an assembler. Just make sure you don't risk too much in case you were to get PK'd. In your inventory you'll want to bring a stamina potion, a ranging potion, 2 prayer potions and some food. Also bring your royal seed pod so you can teleport away from up to level 30 wilderness. Make sure you turn your player attack options to hidden so you don't get skull tricked by Torvesta cosplaying as an ice fiend teleport out and enter the cave. You can move the boulder, which requires 60 strength to enter, but I prefer to use the agility shortcut, which requires 60 agility, because it puts me right where I want to be. You want to get to the southeastern part of the dungeon, because there's a lot of low level monsters here. When you get there, just focus on killing imps, goblins, ice fiends and pyre fiends. I like to use the NPC indicators to tag these so I can easily spot them in the crowd. You also want to hit any two NPCs that are fighting for at least one damage. As soon as you've dealt one point of damage and the monsters kill each other, you'll get the drop. I like to make sure that I hit the spiritual mages that are in combat, so that when they die I get a chance for some free dragon boots. Basically just run around like a madman hitting everything as fast as possible. There's also a method, which might be slightly faster, where you clump up the monsters and blood barrage them, but in my experience this is only marginally quicker and really not worth the hassle. If you want to get keys efficiently, you should consider completing your wilderness diaries and combat achievements. The base drop rate of the keys is 1 in 60, but this decreases to 1 in 55, 1 in 50, 1 in 45 and finally 1 in 40 with the Grandmaster combat achievements completed. You can only have 3 ecumenical keys at once, this includes keys in your bank. Completing the Wilderness Medium Diary increases this limit to 4, and with the Hard Diary you can hold up to 5. I have the Wilderness Diaries completed and usually I can get 5 keys in under 10 minutes, so in theory it would be faster to also use the keys for Banos and Zami, but I just can't be asked going to the Wilderness every time. Plus you have one fewer inventory slot for supplies on your trip. As a final mention, you can also get Ecumenical Keys from Killing Nex, she frequently drops Ecumenical Key Shards, which stack, and once you have a stack of 50, you can combine them into a key. That's basically everything you need to know. Click the playlist on screen now to learn how to kill any of the God Wars bosses. Thanks for watching. See ya!